You're listening to Wednesday Wonders on the Mutual Audio Network. Be amazed. The following audio drama is rated G for general audiences. This is a presentation from Dream Realm Enterprises, where dreams are our reality. Previously on Robots of the Company. It's huge! Guess we know what killed the crew. And now, the conclusion. This week's episode, The Biogeonic Robot. And so the bots worked day and night to repair their fallen comrade until finally. Whoa! Baby, baby, I'll be d- Popsicle, this is supposed to be G-rated. But, can't you see the size of her chest plating? Hmm. Oh, I say. Hey, honey, why don't you trundle it over here next to me? My <clears throat> equipment is state of the art. Hello, boys. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, Zimtron, why are my bolts getting warm? For the same reason my faucet has started to trip, Frisco, my boy. Golly! Down, boy. I think you need a cold oil bath. Hey, baby. Hiya. I will bring you to your knees. Huh, come over here and give me some of that monkey wrench lovin. Hey, honey, let us dance the night fantastic. All right, enough already. Can't you guys put a socket wrench in it? We get the point. Squeak's hot now. Whoopee. Can't stand the heat, little girl? Why not get out of the kitchen? Why, I ought to... You ought to what? Hmm? <clears throat> ladies, ladies, please. No need for jealousies. One day all will bow to my oppressive will. Shut up, tin box. No one is listening to you. Come on, girls. Get it on. <laughs> it's okay, Shinwipe. I like you both. That's sweet, Briscoe, but I couldn't care less who likes this overgrown can opener. I'm out of here. So, we're gonna go sulk now, are we, Shinwipe? No, I'm going to look for something that'll stop the stream of stupidity being emitted by your speech circuits. My industrial clamps ought to do it. Any day you think you're robot enough, honey. Uh-oh, there's gonna be a butt cat. Fight. I got five to one odds on the one with the nice chest plating. Where's the popcorn? Popsicle, shut up. I am not wasting my fuel cells on this stuck-up little bit. <gasps> Shinwipe. What? All I was going to say was bit of scrap. 
Mm-hmm. Look, I don't need this. I have ships to plan. If you guys want to ogle Miss Ovum here, have at it. Like I said, I'm out of here. Today in Robot News with your robotic news anchor, Fizz Gizzit. Hello, I'm Fizz Gizzit. Today in Robot News. Did you know that if you bathe yourself daily in oil that you'll lubricate your sprockets? This just in. Seems a bot aboard the Titan I has undergone extensive reconstructive and transgenderizing surgery costing an estimated six trillion space dollars, becoming the first biogenic robot. Wow. In other news, it seems this series has been cancelled again. Whoop, wait a minute. We have some exclusive breaking news now. I'm just getting word that, yes, the robots of the company has just been picked up by the network to continue its second season after all. So forget I even mentioned cancellation. Boy, do I feel like a dunderhead. This just in. It seems our roving reporter Frag Meltdown has just arrived on the scene on the Titan One to conduct an exclusive interview with the Bigeonic robot herself. Frag, your report. I am here on the Titan One and have been granted an exclusive interview with the universe's first Bi-Geonic robot, who, I am informed, is known as Squeak. Welcome to the program, Miss Squeak. And why the heck do you have such a ridiculous name? Well, Frag, never mind that. Let's just talk about how sexy I find you. Oh, very well, who am I to argue? Just how sexy do you think I am? Oh, you must be the sexiest guy in the whole universe, you manly stud, you. I'm going to have to interrupt you there, Frag, as it's clear that you're making all this up as you go along. I will kill you, you big, teen, jack-in-the-box. Just wait till I get back to that studio. What an outstandingly stupid report as usual, Frag. Thank you so very much. In other news, this newscast is over. This is your robotic news anchor, Fizz Gizzit, with yet another robot news update. More sometime, we just don't know when. <clears throat> hey, we're on. Huh, it's about time. I was wondering if we were even in this episode. As a matter of fact, you are not. Oh. Well, how lame is that? Um. Uh... Uh, is the episode over? Uh, uh, hello? Is that it? Yes, that's it. It's over. God. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know. It just didn't seem like a proper ending, that's all. You are so lame sometimes. Jeez. Well, I said I was sorry. Come on, won't you forgive me? No, now shut up. Oh, please, come on. I'll make it up to you. I said, shut up. But you know I hate it when you're mad at me. We're the same robot. Uh, but, but... The answer is no. Come on, please. <sighs> Look, would you shut up, or they're not even going to have time to do the credits. And that's pretty important, don't you think? Well, yeah, okay. Maybe just a little cuddle? No! <laughs> Ouch! That hurt. You have been listening to Robots of the Company, Season 2, Episode Number 2, The Bigeonic Robot, also known as Episode Number 8, I'm thinking, which starred in order of parents Joe Thomas as Arch, K. Lou as Shinlight, Daryl Mooney as Popsicle, Jeff Niles as Zimtron, Sally Wiggett as Squeak, Kyle Bors as Briscoe, Teg Gray as Excelsior, Jim Barber as Sphinx, Jonathan Patrick Russell as Fizz Gizzit and Frag Meltdown, Jim Barber as Expositron 1, and Ellie Hirschman as Expositron 2. The title theme was written and composed by Daryl Looney. The incidental music was provided by Firstcom. The associate producer was K. Wu. So I need to tell you the rest of this. The post-production editor, script editor, executive producer, and director was none other than Jonathan Patrick Russell. The series Robots of the Company was created by Jonathan Patrick Russell, and the copyright is held by Dream Realm Enterprises, all rights reserved. Any rebroadcast or reproduction of this program without the express written permission 
of Dream Realm Enterprises is strictly prohibited. Thank you for listening. We invite you to visit us on the web at dreamrealmsite.com. For more information, please email us at darkbuilding1 at yahoo.com. Even though one of the robots may have been transgenderized during the making of this audiogram, there is really nothing wrong with that. Thank you for nothing. Be sure to join us next time as Season 2 continues with an episode arguably entitled Not a Plot Going On Here. As always, this is the Creditor begging you to please stay tuned. Copyright 2011, Dream Realm Enterprises, all rights reserved. Hi, I'm Jack Ward, and from all of us here at the Mutual Audio Network, we'd like to say thank you for making this our fourth season. With hundreds of original shows, we are the world's largest curated podcast and podcast family collection of audio drama and audio fiction. And it's all because of you. We couldn't be more grateful because it's here at Mutual where we listen and imagine together. <laughs>